I'm out here in the solo skiff. We got Justin in the background and we're out over here at the rollover launch. So yeah guys, rollover's officially closed. Here's a little bit of drone footage of that. closed that doesn't mean there's not fish biting over here anymore we're not gonna actually fish roll over we're gonna kind of steam up north a bit to actually an area we've never fished before do a little drift fishing with the wind and see if we can get on some bigger trout fish could still be stacked up in rollover cut because it's been that natural pattern of uh, movement for a for a while so we're definitely gonna end up fishing into rollover just for a little bit so Justin's already got his skiff launch. It's time to get this solo skiff launch and let's go fish guys. All right, and we are good to roll. So let's go ahead and fire this guy up and get out to the spot. Ooh, there we go. All right, we are rolling fellas. Cruising up the intercoastal. We made it to the destination, protected by the wind. It's a nice little bayou drain, and we're pretty much just gonna drift a shoreline and work it all the way back to roll over. Pretty good little run, but it ain't a thing when you're in a solo skiff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fish this point for a little bit. Hopefully I'll get into some trout. I know that's just, I know I keep talking about catching a decent trout, but that's just, I've been wanting to just really get on some 20 plus inch trout really bad, like really, really bad. And I have been catching everything but that. So <laughs> maybe today's the day. There's a fish, there we go, there's one. Pretty strong guy. Oh, a little flounder. There we go. Flat boy. Man, this current made this guy feel way bigger. <laughs> oh, he's got a leech on him. Look at that, gross. First fish of the day. Nice little flounder, measured 13 and a half. But uh, obviously not legal, so I'm gonna let this little guy go. All right. All right, well, pretty cool. First fish of the day, little flounder. Nothing crazy, but it's a good start, you know? up into rollover pass right to where they're dropping those bulkheads and it's a deep channel I'm in 19 feet right now and my fish finder is just blowing up fish right now a guy behind me just caught a fish so I came all the way to the bridge I'm gonna fish these pylons and hopefully I can pull something out I have a feeling that these big trout are actually gonna be stacking up in here because there's no tidal flow anymore uh, it does actually seem like maybe there's a little bit but Well, uh, Justin just hooked into a 25-inch trout, just throwing into the middle 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep fishing here for a little while, guys. There we go. Oh, that's a solid trout. Black back silver side Meridine. <laughs> Same thing. Pretty solid fish right here, I must say. Yeah, a nice little trout. Yeah, that'll keep. There we go. Hey guys, nice little trout. First actual okay fish of the day. Let's see what he measures up. He's pretty thick. Yep, 16 inch trout. He's gonna go ahead home in the box. It's been a while since I've had any fish. Sweet, first, uh, first keeper trout of the day. Justin over there has been spanking me. Actually, I haven't been spanking me, but he caught a 24 incher. So, pretty solid fish right there. And I know he caught another one right after that. But uh, maybe the bite was just kinda gonna start coming in a little later, or maybe we just found the bait that they wanted. Catching fish at Rollover Pass, even though it's closed. So that's a good deal. And then, there he is. Oh yeah, there he is. Same one. There we go. Man, I was letting it just sit there too. Yep. It's not crazy big, but it's a good trout. There we go. That's a boat flipper. That's a boat flipper. Oh yeah, pretty good guy. Sweet. Yes, dude, finally getting on the trout. Man, it took us a while today, didn't it? So there's my first respectable trout of the day. It measures about 18 inches, pretty thick guy too. So, you know, we're finally getting on him. Man, it took us all day. I threw every lure I had in my box, except my Miradine mirror lures. And what do you know? After Justin caught that 24, he was saying he was throwing a Miradine, so I chunked mine out. And almost immediately, I got a hit. But yeah, so rollover still produces trout. You know, it was kind of an experiment. It is awesome finally getting back on some trout. It has been a long, long, long time since I've really caught some trout. All right, just to show you guys what I'm using, this is what they want today. Black back, silver side, orange belly. And that's what I've caught both of these guys on. And man, this water is 56 degrees. So it is a very, very slow fish. I'm a, a, I'm a pretty impatient fisherman. That's why I like sight casting. I like being able to see the reds and then going for them. But when it's cold winter trout, you've got to just kind of let the bait do it. So I, it sinks really slow and I just kind of give it a tap tap every now and then just to give it that flash. And I'm pretty much just slowly working that bait. Oh no, did I just break off? Oh, dude, that sucks. There goes my Miradine that I was just using that was working really well. Well guys, it wasn't a crazy productive day, but I finally got on some trout. Oh man, that felt good. And I felt like I could have probably picked up a couple more if I wouldn't have broke off on my Miradine. Sometimes those fish just want one lure and that's just what they want to eat. So, hey, I want to let you guys know that if you have a kayak, John boat, it doesn't matter. Get out there and try and get on some fish. You never know, sometimes people pass up the best fish spots. I'd like to thank you guys for watching another episode of Kagan Fishing. I'll catch you next time.